Warriors, we are live from the quarantine. Um, today we are going to have an awesome strength-based workout. We are going to be doing a 10 to 1 pyramid. Um, it's going to be super fun. As far as uh, anything you need to do to prep for this, um, I would say grab a pillow uh, for the floor in front of your couch because we're going to do a couch stretch. Um, uh, we'll need a mat momentarily. Um, and. Uh, we're gonna be doing um, weighted squats. We're gonna be doing some bent rows, some upright rows. Um, we can do um, all of those with a band. We can do them with uh, dumbbells or we can do it with a kettlebell, bleach bottles, cat, whatever you got. Um, but uh, let's get heavy with it. Um, this is gonna be more of a strength-based workout than a metabolic-based workout. So um, we're gonna go heavy and uh, pace ourselves with this, all right? So story of the day is, the, the theme, in case we've, we've missed the letting you guys know what the theme of the month is, it's, uh, it's about superheroes and about everyday heroes and how we are all both superheroes and everyday heroes. And um, I wanted to uh, read to you a letter from uh, Martin Rooney. Um, he sent this to us um, uh, and uh, it's, uh, it's about this theme that um, we're all superheroes right now. So, um, Josh, would you mind pausing that? Yeah, what's up? Awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> All right. Um, you are a superhero. Right now, you're being externally bombarded with more information than ever. Right now, you will be internally challenged more than you ever have. Although you've probably read to control what you can or it's time to be positive, I know that's easy to understand but also difficult to do. I know the current circumstances aren't fair, but it isn't about fair or tough, it's about doing what's right for a short period. Right now, it's the time to be the hero that you've read about in books and watched on film. And those people were recognized as heroes because of the valiant thoughts that they had and the valuable actions that they took. These people were also often called heroes because of the lives they saved or positively impacted in times of great need. Dreaming and imagining yourself as a hero has prepared you for this battle. Dress rehearsal's over. Now it's your turn to save lives. Right now, the world needs you to play your part, and although being a hero in our current challenge requires less physically than it did from the heroes of our past, it still requires the same mental fortitude and focus. Instead of thinking, what's the worst that can happen? It's time to ask yourself, what's the best that can happen? And make that idea contagious with others. Right now, it's time to flatten the curve, but that does not require you to flatten your creativity or your compassion. In fact, you will need to do that more than ever. Right now, you can make the best version of yourself. Right now, you can make some of your weaknesses your best strengths. Making the best of a tough situation, after all, is what all heroes do. And that was from Martin Rooney, founder of Training for Warriors. All right, so um, that's the story of the day. We all got it in us. We're all superheroes, and we just got to keep doing that every day. All right, so we're going to get into our mobility. All right, guys, let's start off with our cat cow stretch, cat cow. So we're going to be in this quadruped position. And then I always want to lead with my tailbone first. So I'm going to tuck my tailbone. I'm going to feel every single vertebrae extend as I pull up out of my shoulders. All right, feeling that thoracic spine pull up to the ceiling, pulling my head down. And then I'm going to take it back the other way. So again, I want to start with my tailbone. Now I'm going to reach my head up to the ceiling as the last little bit of that. All right, going back into my cow, taking it slow, bringing those hips forward as I get that full extension. Going back into my cat, making sure to lead with that tailbone. Let's do this a couple more times, guys. This should feel really good, especially if you're sitting in front of a computer all day. Get that thoracic spine to open up. Ah, ha, ha. Look up at that ceiling as you do your cat. One more time. And back to the cat. All right. So now, guys, we're going to do a little bit of a wrist stretch. So I'm still in this quadruped position, and I'm going to rock forward and back. 
I'm gonna rock forward and back, just being really gentle with those wrists. I'm gonna do this about five times. And then I'm gonna externally rotate my wrists. And I'm gonna be even more gentle with them as I do this. All right. Just rocking a few more times with that. Bringing him back around to the front. I sit back on my heels. I'm gonna grab my hands together and I'm just gonna rotate them in one direction. All right, and then I'm gonna take them and I'm gonna rotate them in the opposite direction. All right, there we go. Now, we're going to do our couch stretch. So I'm gonna come over here to my pretend couch. I'm gonna put my foot on the couch. I'm gonna bring this other leg forward. I'm gonna raise the arm of the leg that's down, bring it over my head, and then I'm going to lean away from that. So I'm really trying hard to get this nice stretch along these obliques, along that lat, along that arm. I'm gonna breathe in and out. Breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. Give me two more breaths, big ones, big ones, guys. Come back over, stand up, switch out your legs putting that foot on that couch, bringing that other leg forward, reaching up, bringing that arm over the head and lean away. So feel that really nice stretch, guys. You should also feel this really great stretch in that quad. I'm gonna breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. Try to take as deep and as big a breath as possible. Fill up those lungs and exhale. Give me a couple more really big deep breaths. I definitely feel one side is tighter than the other with that. All right guys, next we're gonna go into our walk arounds. So what I wanna do is I wanna come into this deep lunge. I'm gonna bring my hands next to my foot and then I'm gonna come out into this high plank. All right, then I'm gonna come back into the lunge on the other side and I'm gonna rotate towards that straight leg, okay? I'm gonna walk out, come into this high lunge. I'm sorry, this, this uh, high lunge, my uh, high plank. I'm gonna rotate out, away, coming back out. So when I'm saying I'm in this high plank, guys, don't have your butts up. Don't have, your, don't have your, um, your hips up in the air and you're pushing on your shoulders. I want you to have your shoulders directly over your wrists. I want you to come back in and then rotate. So if you look at it from the side, coming out, see my butt's down, coming back in, rotating. Give me one more on each side. Nice. All right. So for the next part of our warm up, we're gonna go through each of the exercises in the 10 to one pyramid and uh, get warmed up. We're gonna get all of our equipment and everything situated. So the first thing that we're gonna do is um, a squat. So if you have a band, if you have weights, if you have a kettlebell, grab those. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do it if you wanna use your resistance band. You're gonna stand inside your resistance band. You're gonna put it over your neck. You're gonna come down, making room for your hips with your feet apart, having those toes pointed out. I want you to stay as upright as possible with this. All right, give me 10 of those. I'm gonna use weights for this circuit. So I'm gonna use both of my 10s. All right, give me 10 total. 
really squeeze those glutes at the top, guys. We're not going fast with this. We're going slow and controlled, all right? Next, we're gonna do our bent rows. So what I wanna do is I wanna hinge over right at this hip. I'm gonna bring my butt to the back wall. My knees will be as bent as they need to in order for me to feel this activation in my hamstrings. I am not gonna come out of my lats. I'm not gonna curve my back. I'm gonna keep my back as flat as possible and I'm gonna squeeze my shoulder blades together as I bring those dumbbells up closer to my hips. We always call this pulling on heavy pants. Pull on your heavy pants, all right? So that's with the dumbbells. If I'm doing this with my resistance band, I'm standing on my band, I'm grabbing low on my band, and I'm bringing those shoulder blades together as I cause resistance on this band, all right? So 10 of those. Next, we're gonna go into our upright row. If you have your band, you're gonna stand on it. You're gonna grab the band towards the middle. You're always gonna lead with your elbows, come back down. Lead with your elbows, come back down. Same thing with the dumbbells, leading with my elbows, coming back down. If this is too heavy with both your dumbbells, you can always just grab one. That's fine too. Guys, keep the pillar of your body really strong from your feet all the way up through your abs, through those glutes. If you have a kettlebell, grab your kettlebell, same thing. Just make sure those elbows lead. All right, 10 of those. Okay. Then I'm gonna go into my hamstring mobility. So I'm gonna lay on the ground. I'm gonna bring both legs up in the air. I'm gonna grab one of my legs. My other leg is gonna reach down to the ground. I'm gonna try to get this leg as straight as I possibly can. So whatever I have to do to get this knee to lock out, I want you to feel this tensioning your quad and feel that stretch in that hamstring. Then we're gonna switch it out to the other side, all right? So give me five on each side. I want you to press that lower back into the ground as you do this. Try to keep both legs as straight as possible. Really, really feel this, guys, in those hamstrings. Whew. If you need to reach lower, that's totally fine. I like to reach high. I like to lock out my leg with my other hand. But I'm a little bit more on the flexible side. All right, we're doing five on each side. And then we're gonna finish off with our knee grab. So we're already on the ground, which is fantastic. If you needed to grab a mat for your hamstring mobility or for your knee grabs, you could do that. I'm gonna bring my arms in close to my chest, throwing my arms forward, grabbing my shins, coming back down, legs are straight, getting those shoulders over those hips. Feel that nice little stretch, guys, at the top. That's a bonus with the knee grabs. You get that nice little hip stretch. Give me 10 of these. Six, seven, just getting those shoulder blades to touch the ground. Eight, nine, 10. When you're doing your knee grabs, always finish guys on the down. Don't finish on the up. Don't short yourself one, all right? So what a 10 to one pyramid means is we're gonna do 10 squats, 10 bent rows, 10 upright rows, 10 hamstring mobilities, 10 knee grabs, and then we are going to um, start that circuit again, and we're gonna go nine, 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 nine. So we're gonna do nine of every, every one of those exercises. Then we're gonna do eight of all of them. Now this is at your own pace. So if I'm going too, fa if, if I'm going too fast and you need to just rest for a moment, do that, grab water, grab rest as you need it. I just want you to go slow and controlled with this, all right? Um, the other thing is, if, if for some reason with the bent row, if you don't have dumbbells, a resistance band, or some, some weight that you can use, you can always do a W. So a W, I'm still in this, this hinge position. I'm gonna bring my elbows together, my hands together. I'm gonna come out. My hands are gonna be at the same level as my shoulders, coming back in. Coming out, 
bringing those shoulder blades together. So that's a substitute if you don't have weights or maybe, maybe your weights at home are too heavy for the bet row. You can do that too, all right? So we are going to do this circuit for 20 minutes and we're gonna see how far we get through that 10 to one pyramid, all right? So grab water before we start. And we're starting in three, two, one, go. Again, if you do not have weights, you can always do a prisoner squat, putting your hands at your head. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice. Going into my bent row, hinging over, really squeezing those shoulder blades at the top, feeling my hamstrings activate. Four, five, six, full extension of those arms, guys, at the bottom. Nine, ten. All right. Now I'm going into my upright row. Hands are in front of me, bringing those elbows up and down. Elbows up, squeezing those glutes, guys. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice. Going into my hamstring mobility. Five on each side. All right. Both legs are up. Lower back is pushed into the ground. Getting that top leg as straight as possible. Take a moment, guys. Feel that stretch. This is two. This is three. Actually, I changed my mind. Let's do 10 on each side, just so that we get the pyramid correct. This is five. This is six. Yeah, take your time. Nine. And 10. Awesome. All right, guys. Going into my knee grabs. Legs are out straight to start. Grabbing those shins, coming back down. Making sure to get those feet flat on the ground at the top. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice. All right. Took about three minutes to get through. I'm gonna go ahead and start again. <laughs> yes, Josh corrected me. Not getting through it, getting from it. He is very, very right. All right. Going into my squats, guys. We're doing nine this time. You're welcome. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh man, I just messed it up. All right, so now we're gonna go into our bet rows. Sorry, nine, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. Upright row. Leading with the elbows. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. <laughs> All right. My hamstring mo mob, my hamstring mobility, nine on each side. This is two. 
Guys, make sure you feel that lower back. Push into the ground. This is four. Five. Six. Feel that other leg extend down to the floor. Eight. And nine. All right. Coming into my knee grabs. Always start with those legs out straight in front of you. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Awesome. Well, I got most of those right as far as the counting is concerned. Next, we're going to go into our round of eights. I'm going to grab some water really fast, take a quickie break. Again, guys, if you're feeling gas, go ahead and pause this. Feel that recovery time and then go back into it. All right. All right. Widening out those feet, pointing those toes out, bringing those hips down, trying to get parallel, if not a little bit lower. Four, five, six, seven. Eight, yay me, I counted right. All right, going into our bent rows. Guys, make sure you feel this in your hamstrings. Keep those backs flat. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And I want full, nice, long extension with those arms. Don't, don't have your arms bent at the end. Now I'm gonna go into my upright rows. Narrowing up my feet, leading with those elbows, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice. Got my hamstring mobility. It's good medicine, guys. Good medicine for those legs. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. You can Sure, you're trying to lock out those legs as much as you possibly can, guys. All right, legs down. Going into my knee grips. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right. Again, guys, take in as much rest as you would, as you like, as you would need to feel recovered until we start the next, the next one. We're going into round seven. We have about 11 and a half minutes left. I'm gonna grab a little bit more water. All right. Josh is doing some pretty heavy weights over there. All right, guys, I'm going back into my squats. Really squeezing those glutes. I want you to lock out those knees at the top, all right? I want you to get those, your, your belly full of air. You're coming down and up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Going into my bent row. One. Two, three, four, five, six, 
seven. Going into my upright row. Lead with those elbows. Two, three, four, five. Squeeze those glutes. And seven. Nice. Back down to our hamstring mobility. Get that lower back pushed into the ground. All right. This is one. This is two. This is three. Slow and control, guys. Four. Going on to my sixth. And it's my last one. Seven. Going into my knee grabs. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Yes. All right, going into our round six. We have about nine minutes left. Gonna get a little bit of recovery time. Drink some water. Again, guys, if you don't have weight, try a prisoner squat where you put your hands behind your head. For the bent row, you would do the W. So you're gonna put your elbows and your hands together. Come out to the side, really feel the shoulder blades squeeze together and back down, all right? So, I'm going back into it, widening out my feet. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bent row, making sure to get into that position. My feet are more narrow, pulling that butt to the back wall, one, Two, three, four, five, six. My upright rows, yay! Again, feet are narrow. One, two, three, four, five, six. Guys, all of this, it's all part of our warrior training or our superhero training, yeah? Like that. I've always wanted to be a superhero. This is one. This is two. This is three. This is four. This is five. And six. Six knee grabs, ah, ah, ah. Use those shins, guys. Those shins are your friends to help you get up. Just make sure you come fully forward so those feet are flat on the ground. This is four, this is five, and this is six. Again, the beauty of these pyramids is that you're going at your own pace, all right? So pace yourself, get as much rest as you need. Grab water. We're going into round five. We have about six minutes left. We might just finish this. It would be awesome. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Bent row. One, two, three, four, five. Upright row. One, two, three, four, five. Getting everything activated, guys. 
squeezing, squeezing, squeezing. We are going into our hamstring mobility. That's one. That is two. It's three. Yeah, right into my knee grabs. Look at that, we're already on the ground. Two, three, four, five. All right, turnarounds obviously getting faster as we get lower in our numbers. And I keep drinking my water. Taking a little break. Going into a round four, we got four minutes left. We're doing great, guys. If you need to, take a little bit longer of a break. One, two, three, four. Ah, that was it, four. Going into my bent row. One, two, three, four. Going into my upright row. One, two, three, four. Back down on the ground for my hamstring mobility. One, two. Feel that other leg pull to the wall that's in front of you. And four. Going into my knee grabs. One, two, three, four. Yeah. All right. A little bit more water. Go right back into it again. Feel free to pause this. Go at your own pace. Whatever you need to do, just make sure every rep is perfect, guys. Every rep. Three. Bent row. Make sure you feel those hamstrings activate. Pulling that butt to the back wall. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Three. Going into my upright row. One, two, three. Turn around so much faster. Hua. Ah. Oh. Really need these hamstring mobilities right now, guys. My legs are so tight. That's two. That's three. And my knee grabs. One, two, three. Awesome. Okay. Going into my round two. Got about a minute and a half left. Two. I think we're gonna make it. One, two. Upright row. One, two. Hamstring mob. Boom. One. I'm not rushing it. Still going the same pace. All right, that was two. Two knee grabs. Coming back up. This one, last round's always a little weird because we're just doing one. But this is our last set. That's it. Yay. We got this, guys. Coming down and up. That's it. Going into my bent row. Just one. My upright row. Just one. 
hamstring mobility. One of each. And one knee grab. Yes. Awesome. Great job, everybody. Still have 14 seconds left. If you're pacing yourself a little bit slower, that's fantastic. Keep going until the buzzer, uh, until the buzzer goes off. And that was it. That was it. All right, guys. I need to take a quickie break real fast. I just need a little bit more water. This is not big enough. <laughs> Right now? Oh, nice. Good job. How, would you, how far did you get, Josh? Uh, yeah, guys, that's a good, that's a good um, um, example. Uh, Josh got to uh, round three. He's going with way, way heavier weights also, taking more rest. Um, right now, though, what we're going to do is we're going to do a um, ab Tabata finisher. So. We are going to do, I'll demo while you're resting. If you need to go ahead and grab your mat, grab your mat. We're gonna do four exercises for four minutes. The first exercise we're gonna do is our penguins. So my back is pushed into the ground and I'm gonna reach down as far as I can down that shoe as my feet are in close to my butt, lifting those shoulder blades off the ground and feeling that crunch in those obliques, okay? So I'm going back and forth until the buzzer rings, it's gonna be 20 seconds of work. And then I'm gonna go into my X crunch. So then my legs are out straight, my arms are out straight. I'm coming up, I'm touching my toes, coming back down. Arms and legs are straight the entire time with the X crunch. And I want you to try to be as controlled as possible guys with this, all right? And then we're gonna do our toe touch. So for my toe touch, my legs are perpendicular to the ground or they're at a right angle to the ground. And then this part of my leg is at a 45 degree angle. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reach up and down. I'm trying to get as close to my shoes as I possibly can, getting those shoulder blades off the ground. That is the toe touch. And then I'm going to rotate over. I'm gonna have my shoulder, I'm gonna go into a plank. I'm gonna go have my shoulders over my elbows. I want my, my legs completely on, and I'm gonna have my butt just slightly raised. I'm not dipping down, I haven't lost my abs, and, my, and I'm not pushed back either, all right? I wanna have my, my hips about the same height as my shoulders, and I'm just gonna hold this for the 20 seconds of the, of the uh, timer. All right, guys? So, we are gonna go into our Tabata. We're gonna do the, those four exercises two times, so that's a total of 10 minutes. So what's gonna happen is, we're gonna work for 20 seconds, and then we rest for 10 seconds, and then we go into the next exercise, all right? So we are starting with our penguins down on the ground, feet next to the butt. We're starting in three, two, one, and we're going back and forth, getting those shoulder blades off the ground. Really squeeze those obliques, guys, as we're going over, back and forth. We've got about five seconds left. Two, one. We're resting for 10 seconds. I'm getting into my X crunch, X force, X crunch position. Arms and legs are out straight, and we're going. Ah, trying to touch those toes. If you can, that's fantastic. Okay, about five seconds left. Oh. All right, we got 10 seconds of rest. We're going into our toe touch. So again, this part of my leg is at a 90 degree angle to the floor. This part is about a 45. I'm reaching up. I'm not pulling my legs into me. I'm trying to reach my upper torso towards my toes. All right. Whew, I find these particularly challenging. Got about three seconds left. All right. 
Now guys, we're flipping over, we're going into our plank. Again, get those shoulders over those elbows. I want everything tight, everything's on. Feet are squeezing together. Butt is just slightly raised, slightly. Holding this, holding this. You should really, really feel this in your abs. We got about five seconds left. Whoo! Two, one. All right. We're gonna go through each of those exercises one more time. All right. Starting with our penguins. And we're going. Reaching down towards those feet as far down those shoes as we can. Getting those shoulder blades off the ground. Ha 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 ha. Yeah. Abs are getting warmed up. All right. Switching out to our X crunch. Whee! You got this. Here we go. And we're going for it. Get that nice stretch at the top, guys. Whoo! Love me some Tabatas. Ah! Thank you, Dr. Tabata. Two, one. Aha! -ha. Going into our toe touches. All right. Getting those legs into position. And we're reaching. Don't pull those, those legs into you guys. Keep those legs stationary as you reach towards those toes. Wow. All you gotta do is get those shoulder blades off the ground. That's it. Reach. All right. Last set. This is it. Going into our planks, guys. Make them pretty, make them beautiful, all right? Get everything together. Everything's on, everything's tight. Holding, holding, holding. Getting that neck into a neutral spine. Feeling those abs activate. They should feel on fire. Whoo! You should feel your glutes on. You should feel your legs super tight. Got three seconds left. Two, one, and done. You did it! Superhero pose. Ha ha. X-Force. Homework. All right. All right, guys, homework. Thank you, Coach Josh. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna go into our homework. That is 20 squats. It's gonna be 10 knee grabs and then 20 swimmers. Loving those swimmers right now, guys. All right, got my squats. I'm actually gonna do prisoner squats. Feet are out, uh, toes are pointed out to the sides and I'm doing it. It's one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine. Guys, don't suffer that depth. Make sure you get that depth. Don't go too shallow, all right? Getting those hips to line up with those knees, if not lower. 16, 17, 18, 19 and 20. Awesome. Back into my knee grabs. What? All right, arms in close to that chest, throwing forward and back down. Two. This is three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten. All right, now we're rolling over onto our bellies. I'm gonna extend my arms forward. I wanna really widen out those fingers, pushing my shoelaces into the ground, pulling those hands next to my rib cage back out, really squeezing the shoulder blades at the top. Guys, your eyes are just that, get a 45 degree angle in front of you. Don't wrench your, wrench your neck with this. I'm doing 20, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 
16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. What? That was amazing. Look at how you just started your Saturday. All right, guys. I love stories of superheroes. We're gonna be having a lot of stories this month of courageous acts from human beings that um, those, those acts and hearing about those acts from just normal, normal human beings makes us know that we all have that within us at any given moment that we get called upon. Nobody ever expected anything, in this, anything like this in our lifetimes, but everything that you've been doing up to this very, very moment has been preparing you to be able to deal and handle this and come out better than when you went in, all right? So we're here for you. We're here to help you bring forth the warrior within. Have a lovely weekend. Meow, meow, meow. I just, I just love seeing you guys on here in the morning. It makes me very, very happy. Oh, thanks. It's so good just to have one thing that's normal and, you know, usual. Yeah, that's so important, right? <laughs>